After five stages over three years, the U.S. Department of Energy's Waves to Water Prize reached its pinnacle, the drink finale. This April, Wave competitors undertook the most ambitious experiment yet, turning salt water into drinking water using only the power of ocean waves. These cutting edge technologies can provide access to fresh water for remote coastal communities and those hit hard by natural disasters. Meet the teams who faced trial by water. Mark Zero Prototype's rapidly deployable freshwater production system is uniquely designed to meet the changing ocean conditions. The onboard reverse osmosis system turns salt water into fresh water. This was a little bit out of our comfort zone, um, but uh, we felt that it was a great idea, number one, and um, the support that we had throughout the competition was special. Uh, it was well organized. And throughout the design, we've learned more, learned more about the product itself. And we kept going through iterations of design and knowing uh, what we could achieve. Wave energy is really hard. It's, it's um, the definite underdog between the other options. Um, it's all out there. It's just very scattered and hard to grab. You can't abandon it all together. It will work in, in some context. It's just getting it cheap enough reliable enough, simple enough. We have to try and see where it takes us. Onika Technologies Snowflake is easy to install and adaptable to most ocean conditions. The Snowflake has the potential to produce up to 10,000 liters of clean water per week. The way we use water at this moment on this planet is uh, simply not sustainable. And so we have to find ways to make it sustainable and uh, definitely making desalination using gas isn't one and so we have to find new ways to make the, the biggest resources uh, available which is the seawater turn it into fresh water which we need and we can use and uh, there are many ways to do this wind solar wave which is uh, why we're here today project 816's ballast buoys and borrowing from archimedes device can be deployed by just two people with basic tools the raft-based wave energy converter powers a land-based desalination system. We thought it'd be really interesting to just take basic engineering principles, basic physics, basic math, and really just off-the-shelf parts, things that we could find and build in our garage. Um, and really, really looked at this as a project that we could kind of scavenge and improvise and, and see what we could do with that um, without really going into, uh, you know, a whole large-scale custom prototyping manufacturing thing. Um, so this wasn't about uh, product design for us so much as it was about really solving what seems like a simple problem um, with off-the-shelf solutions. So something that with a product list um, and some directions anybody with a set of Allen keys could put together um, and do. Water Bros's Wave Actuated Tethered Emergency Response Buoyant Reverse Osmosis System is a wave-powered device optimized for emergency response. Water Bros system is rapidly deployable, low cost, and highly resilient. The ocean has got a pretty good reputation for being unforgiving, and the only way we're gonna get better at that is having devices out there. Um, these small scale applications build confidence, they build experience, so we can tackle new, bigger projects. So I think from an engineering standpoint, getting devices in the water, getting them tested, lessons learned, moving forward, has this better poise for the next big challenge in the ocean. Everything from the small projects like this to the largest um, you know, solar reflective project going out, out in the desert, those types of projects are really going to help push and drive us forward, both with economies of scale and the engineering know-how. It's far beyond just reducing our uh, reliance on fossil fuels or whatever the case may be, to just make our interactions with our planet sustainable. After three years of hard work, each of the team's devices produced desalinated water while weathering the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. Grand prize winner Onika was awarded $500,000 and all of the drink stage finalists were awarded for their wave-powered water makers accomplishments. Thanks to all the finalists for the continued passion, innovation, and determination aimed towards developing marine energy systems like these that can help power the blue economy.